Hey, everyone. <laughs> How's it going? Say hi when you get here. You know the drill. Let us know where you're watching from. I'm Lisa, Lisa Potts Designs. Here's Nicole. I'm Nicole. We are going to be doing some fun projects. We're going to be making a stamp using the stamp feature in Glowforge and this laser engraved stamp rubber from Johnson Plastic Plus. While that engraves, because it does take a little bit of time, we are also going to make fan shirts for uh, our, is it our church softball team? Yeah. Yeah, church softball team. They have a game this Sunday. So we're going to make some fan shirts. So because today's live is going to be a little bit longer, we're going to go ahead and get started. So let me go through and go back to my share screen. I think it's this one. Oh, I need to add that. There you go. So we're going to do mm -hmm. something in Silhet Studio. So let me go, come over here. So we are going to be designing a um, library stamp. So do you remember seeing that I posted online? Yes, it was very cool. I forgot to bring it in here, but we're gonna make one. So we're gonna type out from the, we're gonna do all caps. From the library of. There you go. Oh. All right, so let's do control A. That selects all of our text in here. And my favorite like easy, uh, up and down like simple font is uh, Barlow condensed. So I'm going to click it right here. Hmm. So we have that right there. So you can see, let me fill it in so you can see. So like, see how it's like really like yeah. sleek. And so I'm just going to increase my character spacing to 110 because I like just a little bit of that extra space. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make this for Micah. Oh. So we're going to type out my, oh, I'm oh, in caps lock. Wow. <laughs> we just don't like want that. that. So sandwich. And then I used a font called Goldmine. So let me fill it's this nice. in. It's cute. And I, I think it's nice because it works for male and female. I was going to say cute, but also masculine. But also nice. <laughs> My uh, Select Studio is not responding for the moment. This happens a lot when I like first like turned it on. So, you know. Say hi. Let us know you're Say here. hi. Yeah, let us know you're watching. Okay. So we're good there. Let's go ahead. Fill this in. So I'm going to fill it in black. Wow. Hello. All right, so we're just gonna line it up right here. Now to make sure we can align it uh, well, we're going to go ahead and convert this from font to text. Mm. So I'm gonna right click, uh, do weld. So you can see see how there's like little boxes around that? Yeah. We're just gonna right click and make compound path. This Ooh, makes it one before. object you have. I've done that before. We're just gonna do that with this too. Do you see this dog trying to sneak in here? Yeah. You see her? <laughs> Do you guys hear that tapping noise? That's her tail. Oh, <laughs> Nick, it's fine. All right, so that is our stamp. I am going to resize this in uh, Glowforge. So Glowforge Premium lets you resize, lets you flip. It has a stamp feature. So I'm going to do that all in there. Now, I did put up a YouTube video earlier this week on the stamp feature, and I showed you how to set it up completely in Silhouette Studio. So you can go refer to that if you like. We're going to grab this. Go to File, Save Selection, and save it to Hard Drive. So we're going to save that as an SVG file. So let me jump back over here um, and change the camera because now um, that one. We got to go to Glowforge, so I need to do this real quick. So um, let's talk about, Nicole, while I'm doing this, what kind of stamps are we going to do we want to make later? I don't know, but the library, from the library of really good idea because I had one of Lisa's books for probably a year and didn't know I had it but now that she can put a stamp in it mm -hmm. <laughs> um yeah then everybody's getting their books back because I had one of Micah's books too actually and there was no stamp in it so if I didn't remember I probably wouldn't have been able you to you know that probably them. doesn't stop people from keeping books that belong to someone I mean like think of how many people have library cards you're still. right you're right all right, so now we're going to jump back and we are going to share our Glowforge screen. So while I'm over here uploading, can you put this rubber into the Glowforge? Any specific way? The so You see how that part's engraved already? Yeah. Leave that up. Like this. All right, so I'm going to upload my file. And so I just saved it over here. Does it go in the middle? Try to keep it in the middle, yeah. All right, so now this is processing. You can see right here. And guys, don't forget to say hi. Let me know what you think, if you have any questions, all of that fun stuff. Try my best to put it in the middle. That's fine. All right, so she just put the stamp rubber in there, so it's gonna take a second for it to, to uh, read. So while we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put in our settings. 
So right away, I'm going to set this to engrave. I don't have to worry about like the setting so far because it's going to adjust once um, once we make the stamp feature. But I noticed just like a weird thing when I didn't set it to engrave first to fill it in. When I did stamp feature, it kept it like hollow. So I don't want that. Definitely not. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to resize this. I have blocks that are three inches wide and an inch and a half tall. So I'm going to go through and make this about two and a half inches wide. So you can see it's a little over half an inch tall, so it's perfect. Mm. So we have this set right here. And then over here on the right is our stamp feature. So essentially what it's doing is it's like putting a padding around it and it's engraving the opposite and flipping it. It's really like not that revolutionary. Well, I think it is. So we're going to create stamp. I think it's really cool. I didn't even know you <laughs> so could do cool. this. So cool. I no idea. All right, so this is making our stamp. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and set my focus. So you see that? Yeah, it so flipped now, it. So it's flipped and it's got a box around it. So it's going to engrave the entire box and not and the word. The, yeah. Oh, okay. So for something like this, um, you could set, you can see on my screen, it has a cut right here. I don't like using that. With this stamp robber, I can I have not been able to find a setting I like enough. It either like burns it or doesn't cut it through enough. And because I'm gonna cut this down anyway, I'm just going to ignore that. So right here, this cut. Ignore. Ignore, yep. And then when you do the stamp feature, it converts it over to an image file instead of uh, just a vector. So you can see I have my stamp rubber, and I'll show you my settings. My speed at 310, my power at 70, but you see how it says bitmap options here. So it just converted it over to a picture. You don't have to worry about it too much. Let's go back. All right, so now we can print. And so this is preparing. Let's see how long it's gonna take us. And let me switch sides with you. I'm gonna sure. see if I can fix this camera while we're waiting. Still calculating. I know, they're like glow for just faster. And it's- Oh, just 23 minutes. So we're gonna do some other projects. So let's go ahead and turn on my inline fan and make the magic happen. Cool, so do you guys have any questions so far? Hey, Hill. Hey, everyone. All right, so let's go wow. over here. I'm going to take this off because we don't need it. And, <laughs> okay, so check it out, guys. I got another camera angle. <laughs> what, what happened? This is funny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to get the sound from my phone. You know, it's all good. We're fine. We're fine. Everything ignore ignore fine. my headphones hanging. I I, <laughs> I wanted to use my phone as a guest so we could have another camera angle, but it you can't turn the sound down all the way. So you win some, you lose some. All right, right. so we're going to let that go, and we're going to weed our vinyl for our shirts. Okay. So I have this uh, weeded already. This is actually Caesar Brick. Brick 600. See how th have you, did you look at it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's nice and thick. So it's going to go on a hat. So and the thicker one is supposed to go on hats? Um, or It's an embellishment, so we're going to put it on a hat. You can put it on a lot of stuff. A lot of like sports brands will use it as a left chest. They'll use it as like, things on shoes, but that's what we're going to do today. That's cool. And then we have a design here and a design here. It is a waffle. So the softball team is called the Waffle Batters. Waffle and Bats. See waffle that? and Bats. Jury's See out that? on if I like the name, but you know what? That's, that's what we're doing. That's pretty cool. So uh, there's my microphone. Okay, so this one's yours. Oh, so here is going. the corner. I'll start the corner for you. Thanks. All right, so you can start weeding that. Should I take out the big stuff first or the little stuff? You do whatever. Just start. Take that outside off first so you can see the outside of your design. Okay. I'm going to see if I can get another meeting. Sometimes I don't use the tool because it's a little tough. Oh, there we go. So how's everyone doing? Lots of snow? Just up a little bit. Yeah. Are any of you in an area that has a lot of snow? Are you guys okay? Like, what's the deal going on with you guys? Although I really like snow, I don't think I would like being in the snow. Spot. It's kind of crazy. Like pipes are flooding. Like I know houses I saw that. are crazy. I'm gonna put my fancy ring on. Mm -hmm. Hillary, how's it in Virginia? How bad is the? Give us the weather report. Snow in the D.C. area. 
here it's nice and uh, humid. Humid, moderate temperatures. What was the temperature today? 80. I don't know. It was in. Are you just making stuff up? I think it was like 80, though. It was really hot and muggy today. Yeah, it wasn't great. It wasn't uh, great, though. We have a ton of stone in India, but we're working fine. We're worried about those in Texas. Yeah. I, I am, too. If you guys are watching, you're in Texas. We are thinking of you. We're praying for you. I'm glad you were able to watch. But if you are in Texas you lost power, don't watch this live. Save your power. Uh, Hillary had an inch or two of ice and snow. It's pretty gross. Well, we had like three to five inches when we were in Asheville, and that was really nice. And I kind of loved it, but you it know, we don't enough. live in it, so it was manageable. I can't pick this. Oh, oh sorry. No, it's fine. Stab it. I so know. when you do this, I tried. I really go did like try. This. Angle, stab. Angle, stab. Yep. Try to go in the middle so you're not lifting up the other side of it there. Perfect. Yep. Just like that. Yep. I'm getting better. She's leaving a little waffle design. Uh, Joanne had freezing seed all day. Tomorrow oh. more snow. Ugh. She's terrible. How long is this supposed to go on for? That's what I don't so even know. I heard, and I could be wrong, that it was originally projected to be done today. And I saw in some places in Texas, they're still getting more snow. Oh, goodness. And Texas is not prepared because of the fact that they don't get snow. Is right. that what the problem is? Right. Whenever okay. you have big snowstorms like this, areas that do have it, they have snow plows and salt trucks and all this stuff yeah. and infrastructure in place. Uh, but, I mean, it's never like that in Texas. So, right. you know, it's it's. I think it's a little unfair when people like from way up north are like, this is what it's always like. Like, yes, but you're prepared. Like, So they don't even have like salt trucks and stuff like that. Not so that, that I know of. So that would make it difficult to be on the roads. Right. Right. And so part of it is they can't clear out areas. I think it's like piling up so much. That's why people are losing power. And if I'm wrong, tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, because I don't, can't trust the news these days, you know. Okay, so my camera's reversed. So that's why it looks backwards. It says waffle batter. Reverse, reverse. No, it's not. I was holding it upside down. Da, 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 da. Reverse, reverse. So there's our waffle batters. Wow, you did that so fast. Now, which part do I take out this? Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to um, turn off the other camera so we can move it to... This is not as thick as that one. Correct. No way, Jose. So let's go over here. Let's remove this camera. So we're going to go back to view the camera. So um, can you squeeze through there to yeah. get to that camera? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to turn the microphone. It might be difficult to hear us for a couple minutes. Let me, I'm going to try to turn on the cat press without blowing the power in here. We've got lots of things going on. And this is a little room. Okay. okay. Things, little room. Ooh, that is hot. So that press is set Ooh. to 305 degrees. Okay. So we're going to be doing two shirts now. So okay. grab one of those shirts. we got to do a pre-press. Yes. Yeah. Yep. What size is that? I got two this sizes. This is a medium. Okay, so that'll have the, the black on top. Okay. Oh, someone said no sound. No sound, no audio? Uh-oh. Hold on. Uh-oh. Pause. Hold on. Can you hear me through there? Comment if you can hear me. Hmm. Oh, we are back. We're back. Okay. Strange. Not sure what happened. That's fair. Maybe, Sorry it, just, about that. maybe it just was a fluke. We're just okay. doing a pre-press. Don't forget that press slides out so you can slide oh, it out to kind yes. of line it up. Yes. Okay. Now we're going to do a pre-press. Okay. 
not, uh, just do it kind of in the middle, yeah? I don't know. Like this? Yep, perfect. Okay. Now slide it in. Slide it back. Bring it down. Right? Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Go ahead and lift it. You don't need it the oh. whole time. Okay. You can turn the pressure down a little bit if you want by turning that knob up top counterclockwise. Counter. Okay, I'm gonna slide in. Um, is this one it. done, or that we're gonna put something on we're it right now? We're gonna put something on it. No. Okay. Just ironing. <laughs> just ironing it. Okay. I just did the ironing portion. All right. So these shirts oh, are so cool. can be kind of tricky to line up because the sleeves are off. So don't forget with shirts like this, the armpits right here are the are the center of your chest. Okay. So. I'll kind of do some lining, but I need you to help because you're right in front of it. Okay. So I'm going to angle it a little bit. Oh, you center. want it angled? Okay. Yep, center the chest a little bit. And then the way you line up your collars, never use the tag. They're mm -hmm. almost always off. Never you do want that. to align it off the center of this because your neck always goes through here. You're so right. So when you look at it and see if it's straight because I'm at an angle. In according to that. I don't know. I feel like it needs to go this way a little bit. How about I just let you stay in here? I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Be careful with the cameras, of course. Oh, you know what happened is I took off the other camera when we had the camera facing down, and that one's muted. Oh. So that's why they couldn't hear me. All right. So we're just lining this up. I'm going to bring this down so I can get a better view of the, the uh, collar. It's definitely tilted, but I just wasn't sure if it was the middle of the collar. Yeah. And one thing you can also do is literally pull it up to see. So we're going to do that because these are actually, I think, men's shirts. So. Yeah. I'm like moving so I'm in the, in the camera. Oh, that looks good. So I'm going to bring it up just a tiny bit. Right here. I think that's nice. What do you think? I think that's perfect. Okay. Wow. Can you slide that out for me? Absolutely. I was scared it was going to be hot. <laughs> <laughs> She, she like gave me side eye as she was doing it, so I couldn't figure out why she was doing that. All right, guys, we're gonna live life on the edge and not use a cover sheet. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna How dare we. bring this down. We're just gonna do the full 15 seconds since it's one color. So we're gonna let this go. There's our timer going. So guys, I linked this in the description as well. This is the uh, Heat Press Nation Craft Pro 15 by 15 press. I really, really enjoy using it. Right, so that is our press. He's a glitter in there. Well, good. You're just going to sparkle. Oh, so you see how it's lift, lifting a little bit? We're just going to shift this down just a tiny bit. Increase our pressure and press again. Part of the reason why we need to increase our pressure is that I think the collar is getting in a hard time. Oh, because it's picking that. Yeah, the collar is up a little bit. So we're just going to do another press with better pressure. That was hard pressure, you can tell. Oh yeah. I always tell people test your pressure by basically if it fights you and coming up. So um, we're gonna do another press because you can see that the vinyl, I don't know if you can see it in camera, but it looks like it's just sitting on top. And you want it to look like the material. That's when yeah. you know you've got a good press. That's right. Let's look at this. Look at her learning, guys. I know stuff. Which we know that's not true. That's absolutely <laughs> true. All right, and then let me peek over. Our stamp's looking good. It gets really, really dusty. Oh, yeah. You see that? That's why I had to clean my machine when I did. All right, so let's slide it out and see how this looks now. Does it look like It looks better. Look at that. So check it out. Sweet. So there's one. All right, so let's grab yours and throw that on there for you. Oh, yeah, the decals. Oops. Well, I'll have to get that. I have to hat one on the Oh, that's fine. All right, so let's go right here. Let's close it. We're doing our free press. Free press. You guys are quiet in the comments. What do you think so far? Oh, okay, Nicole. 
left chest is difficult, but we will be fine. Oof, I'm nervous. Okay, so okay. we're gonna slide this all the way over so that we can see this um, yeah. armpit. So left chest is typically where these two meet. You see that? Gotcha. So switch sides with me because we're gonna place it and then hold it up to you to see how it's gonna go because this is oh, also a bad okay. pair. Oh. Be careful at home. Guys, if you could see the jungle gym that this office took it is. It's awesome. Right, so place it like around here in a little bit. Right, smash it down so it's like kind of stuck on there. Right, so let's hold it up to you and see. All right. Uh, I am using laser uh, stamp rubber from Johnson Plastic Plus. Squat a little bit so I can see. Okay, so I think it needs to come up. Same. That's okay. exactly what I was going to say. But I like the placement of where it is. Yes. Okay, so we're just going to the same thing. We're going to like that. Do you want to hold it up just to see? Yep. And this looks orange. It's not orange. It's, it's not orange. It's a very nice yellow. It's it's athletic gold. Right, squat so they can see it. What do you think? Want it up higher? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. Okay. Right? It's a preference thing. I, I think, think it'll be good, good on you. Yes. Um, Josh, I ordered a shirt for Aaron too. Okay. So, I think that's good. All right, so I'm going to do this so the collar goes down so we have the best so, chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thinking. And I will Wait, say. Crooked? Oh gosh, I get so stressed about putting things on crooked. We will fix it. Good. Perfect. And guys, I will say, I think I think I might have um, a press that's bowed a little bit. Um, I am in talks with Heat Press Nation to check it out. So if you see some of my presses uneven, um, I might just have to get my machine replaced. But the great thing about Heat Press Nation is that they're just going to send a new one. Because wow. I bought one of their new presses, it's covered under warranty. So I just will have to send some photos, and then I can swap it and send it back. So. I'll let you know how that goes if that is the case. Yes. Okay, let's slide back. Let's see. I think it looks pretty good. I think I want to do a little Sweet. bit more pressure one more time, though. No more pressure. Coming up. Like I'm doing anything. My hands are right here. <laughs> okay, it's supporting, supporting. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Lisa. And again, guys, we're going off the grid. We're not oh, using spell my sheet. name right. Oh, I put it in the description. Oh, wow. Yeah, I put your name in the description. I appreciate that. I just very quickly touched that. And it's hot. Myself. It's 304 degrees. It is. I could bake cookies on that thing. Almost. Check that out. Whoa. Okay, so we'll put this to the side. We can turn this off so we don't have two questions. All right, so let's go over and go to the other camera real quick. All right. And I'm going to unmute it because that's what happened. So let's remove All right, so we're going to look at this just real quick while we move our camera to another location. Hello, look at this. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's see if we can, nope, I'm not going to try to turn that. Let's do this. Turn what? I was going to try to turn the um, overhead camera to look the glow forge. Mm. But that will be that. So there's seven minutes left on the glow forge. So now we're going to have some hats. That's not too bad. So what is this camera look like? Almost? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. You want this doll? Yeah, we're going to use that for tape. So do you see the So then we'll go over here. here so are. here's our cat press. This is also from Heat Press Nation. Oh, at least you got a glow forge. Okay, so now let's take, oh, can you grab the, the, the thing? Oh, yes. So let's go over here. Excuse me. We're going to go right in front of the camera just so you know. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I didn't actually set it. It's, it's warming up now. Oh, but that's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on this hat. So this is one of the ultra soft hats from Sandmark.
So have you, you did you use the cat piss when we did no. it? No. Okay. You were it was your first time using it. Okay. So see this? We're gonna put this little gold washcloth to help lift up our hat right here. Okay. So what you'll do is take it go ahead and go can you make it? Yeah. Okay. Here I come. Sorry everybody. Okay. So we're gonna put the hat on like this. Okay. This lifts up, you see this right here? Yeah. So you're gonna like put the hat within here and it goes on top of there. I'll be here to help. Okay. This is Nicole's first time using a cat fest at all. Good. 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 All right. It like rolled up. Okay. So feel how this like lifts up in here? Yeah. So there's like a paper in it. We want to take it out. Oh, and yeah. try it again. Without the paper? Yes, it's sliding up. Oh. Actually, no, we, I want to, yeah, let's take it out. Okay. So we're going to take out this paper lining. Tabitha! She finally Ooh. got here. Party time. All right, I'll try it again. So again, this is Nicole's first time using a cat press. It gets kind of tricky with the trucker cat back, so we'll see how it goes. You're doing great, buddy. Thank you, everybody. And then just turn this a little bit. So almost. So the way you can adjust this is we're gonna take, let me take it real quick. We're gonna take this, kind of bring this down. And so it's kind of off. So we're gonna I'm gonna take it off. Oh your things off. It's fine. Do you start with the front or the back? I start with the front. So oh, I can lay it on my washcloth. That's the trick I didn't know. So feel how it's even right there. Mm -hmm. That's okay, so nice. let's go ahead and do some tests. So bring this down and let's see where the cat press starts coming oh, out. Oh boy. It's on wheels. We are roll. Good. Close it. See how it feels. Good. So we'll have to increase the pressure for sure. So you can it's see that. It's hitting that. Is that okay? So we're going to bring it down. So we're going to it down. Okay. So that's what we're doing before is we're like testing it. That looks good, right? That's better. Uh, Lisa asked if you enjoyed our vacation up in New, New, New Jersey. Yes. North Carolina, yes. It, it was, was awesome. a lot of fun. So uh, for those of you who just joined, we're making a stamp. It's right on Gold Forge now, and we're pressing hats. And we just did some shirts. So this is still coming up to temperature. So we're going to let this sit just a couple more minutes. Um, let's see, how long on our Gold Forge? We have three minutes left on our Gold Forge. So while we do that, um, I'm going to pop back over here. And see if I can bring this over my glow porch. It's tilting over for the last two minutes. Okay, so let's see how this looks. So now you can go ahead and get an idea of what's happening. The camera angle isn't the best, but my tripod's about to fall over, so I just want you to see what's happening right here. And then we're letting our, our cat press warm up. It's at 218, so we're getting close. So I'll, I'll leave this on so you can see this, and I'm going to go back over to the cat press. <laughs> So that's lifting. Great, so we have some right here. 
Sorry, he presses at 267 degrees. It's almost there. What's it supposed to be to? 310. Oh. Okay. So Lacey's doing a big stretch in the hallway. So guys, really tell me what you think better. so far. Do you have any questions? Do you have any comments? How do you feel? What's happening? What's the hot gossip? What's the 411? Tell me everything. Great. All right, so we need one. Okay, so we're almost there. That's on me. I forgot to press go, so it didn't actually set. But we got 40 seconds left on the stand. We do? Yeah. Oh, we do. Okay, this is 290, so it's good enough. Okay. So we're going to bring this down. Because this design is actually slightly too big, so we're going to do a quick press. See how it cut off on the top? So slide this down. Mm -hmm. Press down on the top. I have my pressure increased. Okay, and then we're gonna bring it over as so we can get the bottom more. Wow. Too big. Too big. So we'll get that pressure. So we're gonna let that go a few more seconds. Great, right, so we have this all good. So now mm -hmm. we're just going to kind of take this. Do one more. Oops. And the brick is a cold peel. So we're just gonna, once we're done, leave it for a couple minutes. Oh, that means you have to peel it when it's cold? Yep. Mm, that makes sense. All right, so let's go over here. Let's look at our glow forge. So will you stand over there? I'm just gonna hand this to you while it's on. I don't care. Oh, my bare feet. Lift it up. I don't know. That how. handle right there. <laughs> so I sit. Yep, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so right there, there are my bare feet, guys. I'm not a camera moment. All right, so we're going to set that. Let's go ahead and take our rubber stamp out. Nick, if you're watching, I need your help. Oh, I better move. So this is really dusty. What's up? I'm going to need you to, to wash this. So you can see it's really dusty. So my assistant, Nicholas, is going to go in the kitchen where there's a toothbrush, and he's going to wash it with dish soap. OK? And now, while I'm here, I'm going to take my little pseudo stamp block. This is just a half-inch piece of plywood that I cut down. OK, so let's put that right in the middle. Let's close this. And we're going to let that process. Okay, so we're going to go over here, and I'm going to share my Glowforge screen again. Actually, I need to import the design again. So one second, let me go back to my Glowforge. What do you guys think so far? Do you have any questions, thoughts, feelings? Concerns. Concerns. Questions or concerns. Dislikes. Disapprovals. 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 All, all these things. All, all of them. And I we're going fast and furious because there's a lot to cover. Um, and I want to show you a bunch of stuff. So this is crooked. I'm going to fix it in my machine. So here is the design. Oh, let me share my screen. Duh. Right, so here is our design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to set focus on my block. This is going to help the camera know how far away my block is so we know how to do our settings. So I am also going to take my engrave settings you see right here and turn it off. Ignore, Ignore. that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's enter our settings. I'm going to use something that I've been using, charcuterie small, which is how I label something I was engra engraving. So my speed 1,000, my precision power 80, and 225 lines per inch. I'm actually going to decrease that to like 125. Oh, no, yeah, 125 and save it as something else because I don't need this to be super detailed because this is literally just so that you can see what the stamp is. So we'll do stamp back. Let's grab this, resize it. So we're gonna make this uh, 2.5. Okay, so it's the same size, oops, Whoa, as buddy. our stamp. I'm gonna move it over here, line it up on our plywood and press print. Um, I don't think it's, totally even, but you know what? We're going for speed, not, you know, precision. precision. This is a free gift. 
So like that's crazy. Yeah. So it's gonna be one minute and twenty seconds. That's quick. Yeah, it's very quick. Massive so, time. You gotta push the button. So let's go over here. Oh, I gotta go the other way. And hey, someone said hey, hey. Great. So you can see right here. We're gonna set it up and just gonna go right here. Great. Is it cool down yet? Is it a cool feel? Yes, this is a cool feel. So let's say this can that slide at all? What? The the um that camera? Can that part move over here at all? Incoming. Okay, we're good. Thank you. So okay. you brush so perfect. And you did it all. Perfect. So let's bring this camera just right on the table. We're gonna point it down. We're trying to do a lot tonight, guys. So this lots is of camera, camera angles, lots of projects. Okay, so let's work on these this one real quick. I'm gonna take our teeth, peel it up. So do you see this? No. It just lifted up a little bit. So oh, no. I think I already flipped this off, so let's turn our press cap on. Here we go. So check this out. It's lifting right here. So we're gonna put the press form up and we're literally just gonna press it in with emphasis right here on the press. Hmm. So um, is that little that little rags there? So why don't you while uh, I'll do that at home, why don't you cut this okay. and just cut around it and then we're also gonna cut a piece of foam. So cut like right on that edge so you have extra. Cut right on. Yep. And then we're also going to use this foam for our stamp block. This helps get our stamp like a little bit more even pressure when we're ready to stamp something. Huh. So we'll do that. And then just keep an eye on the um, camera angle. Okay, let me switch with you. All right. So cut really close to the line, but don't cut inside the box, right? You can cut inside the box. What? Just right on In, the inside. Inside the box? Okay. Yeah, right on the inside, not too close to doors. Okay, I'll press down here. I'm kind of nervous. It's fine, it's just, it's just a stamp. I don't want to move my sit up. It's fine. And I'm just over off camera doing the last press on our hat, just so that we can get it done. Sorry, I do take a very long time to do things because I get very stressed okay. about doing them wrong. People are probably like, just cut the thing already. Yeah? Just cut it. Sorry, I'm late, but what was the material that you cut out with the glow forge for your stamp? That is rubber stamp material from Johnson Plastic Plus. Guys, I'm on the other camera. Here's the hat now. Johnson Plastic Plus. All right, so let's look at this stamp. Cute, right? That's nice. Right? So let me go through and cut that other camera. We don't need it now. Other camera, who? We don't need them. All right, so we're doing that one. So we're done with our stamp. Oh, we're gosh. fine. Okay, so Terrifying. now we need to um, cut our foam and stamp the same size because they'll be stacked on top of each other. So I'm literally gonna hold it like this and cut it a little bit closer, but it doesn't have to be too close. Okay. Now, if you were doing this yourself and you're nervous of cutting like Nicole is, you can increase your padding when you did the stamp feature. Mm -hmm. I didn't wanna do that because I didn't think it was necessary, but you could. All right, so we're just gonna go right here. And I'm just holding it while I cut it. And you're kind of rounding it. Yeah, it's just a preference thing. I think when I round it, it looks a little bit neater. Mm. But honestly, when you make stamps, you can kind of do whatever you want. Okay, so here's this part. So now I'm going, this is adhesive foam. That's cool. So we can peel this backing off here. Let's line this up. Okay, and before I do this, guys, 
Um, you also could get a rubber stamp, not an acrylic stamp block and stick this on there. This is, this will cling to it. Since this is given to someone who's not really a stamper, we're going to make the base for them. All right. So will you show them how that looks? I'm going to get a paintbrush to paint the blue on. Hmm. You, right? Interesting. I'm still trying to picture how this is going to come together because okay. I'm not a crafter. We so. got one more step. So here's the stamp block. We're going to put some glue on this foam. On the blue? Yep. So this is super tight. This is an uh, uh, alternative to E6000. Oops, that was a lot. So we're just going to go over here and just paintbrush. And guys, I like crafting. I used to do stamping. Um, I am not a professional stamper, so I'm not going to do like high level professional quality stamps because I mean, it's professional because we're professionals, but I'm not going to do like the whole things. So you want to make sure it matches. So here's the top. Here's the top here. And now we can place it right in there. Look at that. And we can kind of push this, put something heavy on it. So let's let this sit for just a second. And let's lift the camera up and show them our other projects. The camera's gonna be close to you, just so you know. Uh, can you reach those shirts? Yeah. What do you guys think so far? Okay, so here's our shirts. Put on your hat. Oh, where is my hat? Did it get fixed? It's right in over there. Oh, my gosh. I have one too. Nick, will you bring my hat? Okay. It's on the kitchen, the dining room table. I don't oh. even know what number my husband Waffle is. Waffle batters. Go I think he's number. with someone. Go no oh, I think he's 13. Go 13. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's cute, that, right? It's nice. So this is um, Caesar Easy Weed in black, normal Easy Weed. That is Easy Weed in sun. sun. These are, um, yeah. We're ready. We're ready for the game. So these are um, Sport Tech. I ordered, nice. I ordered from Sanmar. These are from Sanmar. And then these are also, I think these are district made hats. These have yellow Caesar brick. So we used a lot of the Caesar line tonight. Go Caesar. And we have <laughs> our waffle batters game day fan shirts. We've so ready. we're gonna make one for Nick later too. All right, so let's see if this stamp looks good. I think it does. So here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Do some stamping. Yeah. All right. Like I'm wearing this. All right. So here's our stamp pad. Oh, I'm excited. It's you. You can do it. Yes. Yes. All right. Moment of truth. Just push it a lot. Yes. And look at it to see if the. Have you stamped before? Oh, no. All right. Now flip it over and look at it. Oh, you, you, you got a lot on there. Let me get a paper towel. That might be a little bit too much. I told you I never stamped before. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I thought the whole thing had to be black. It's like dripping. No, 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 just the words. Oh, good gravy. Just, just I the do, words that I, were going on there. Oh, no. I missed That's it. okay. That's okay, guys. All right, so check this out. <laughs> so look, it's still okay. Look at that. You just don't want too much. So you're going to go like this. Oh, you dab. I was pushing. See how all the words are covered? Yeah. Now give it a stamp. Turn now, it, turn it big, so they can read it. A yeah. big stamp. Don't push like with all your force, but like just check that out. Wow. Let me try again. Push a little bit more. There you go. <gasps> nice. Wow. Now no one will steal a book from my duck. Here, because... do, you, do another one. Cover it like before. Yep, yep. And now to a hard one like the second one, so you can get a nice. There we go. Oh, so that was a got tiny bit too much. Shoot. But that's I'll okay. Get it. Good thing I'm not stamping these books. Check it out. That looks awesome. So we made that stamp start to finish in today's life. How cool is that? Boom. So if you want to stamp your own books, now you know how to. And so with this, you can. Um, I just cut up. I didn't cut up my friend and cut up my. The, a half inch of plywood for me into these sections. Oh. You could also cut your quarter inch. I cut quarter inch uh, wood, but then I did quarter inch acrylic before. So what do you guys think? Those are all the projects tonight. How do we feel? It's we have great. our stamp. If you touch your shirt, be careful because you have a stamp with ink on it. I do, and I have it on my fingers. Here's our waffle batters. 
So cute, you got right? Hat. I got the hat. Here, I'm going to throw this on over my shirt so we can get the full effect. Yes. So we did a lot of projects tonight, guys. What do you think? Start to finish with this stamp. I really was confused about how it was going to happen, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty stinking cool. Check that out. The hat, the stamp, and the shirt. So some people would want this design to be a little bit lower. I like it slightly like higher, it. but it's up to you. So we have our baseball tees. It's a little bit bag baggy right here. The unisex fit is kind of more like men's fit, if we're being honest. It's not oh, really like a unisex. Yeah. But then we have our shirts here, our little hats, and our stamp. Mm. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're watching the um, replay, thanks for joining on the replay. Uh, super exciting thing that I want to tell you guys. Uh, I got a new blade for my Cameo 4 Pro, and it works. So I'm... <laughs> My three month late unboxing video is gonna go up soon. I'm gonna kind of go through in the video like all the issues that I had and how it was fixed and then we're actually gonna cut with it. So oh. um, I've had no issues since I got my new blade. I'm very excited about it. And we're kind of gonna go from there. So Sweet. I have a lot of, I have another video coming out soon. I did a video on my Glowforge cleaning and my inline fan setup I'm excited to do. Um, and as always, if you have video requests, things you want to see, just leave me a comment, write to me. I'm happy to find a way to make it work. And um, I hope you guys have a good night. We will talk to you.